the problem with that it takes a lot of time to actually install the L track into the flooring we actually had to cut out the strips in the floor and then lay the L track into the floor and then bolt the L track down I'm not sure if you're wondering why I'm currently sitting on the floor in the van, but I would think you are wondering why. You've heard Bob and I talk a lot about tying down the cabinetry here in the van. And in our old van, we installed all the cabinets and um, secured them to the floor in the van using the L track. The problem with that it takes a lot of time to actually install the L track into the flooring we actually had to cut out the strips in the floor and then lay the L track into the floor and then bolt the L track down now that is a very sleek system but that can be a very time consuming system of part of your van build and we are all about building things um, easily and quickly, but making things also secure and, and still modular. Um, we started using a different system and we got this idea when we were building out our son's van in Tacoma, Washington. How can we install these cabinets and keep them secure without actually drilling holes in the floor and installing an L track? Um, of course, when you're driving and if you got into an accident, you would want everything to be stable and in place and that it doesn't move. So what Bob and Aaron came up with was actually using the tie down um, D rings or O rings that are actually part of the factory build of the van itself. And they are throughout the van in several locations on the van, but I will show you under the sink in the kitchen how we have the kitchen module secured to the floor without drilling any holes and without um, using an L track. So let me take you under the sink. So currently you are looking at where the actual tie down ring is. This is already factory into the floor. This is screwed into the floor itself. The van does come with this. It has a big D ring on it. And what we have done is we've used this ratchet system. Here's the ratchet itself. We've used obviously the roping on the ratchet. We've wrapped it around several spots on the um, brackets and the 8020. Um, and have re-looped it and ratcheted and tightened it securely and it's not going anywhere it's not moving I can try and wiggle this whole module and it does not budge at all we have another one on the end down there down by the refrigerator um, and in other sections so it, it is secured in three spots here. The great thing about this is you can actually loosen this up. You can, let me turn my light back on. You can loosen this up and you can undo everything and you can move this entire module without any difficulty. We can slide it that way if we want to. We can slide it that way if we want to. And the ratchet system makes it very flexible and and more modular than the L track that we had used in our previous van. We really like not drilling holes into the van if we can get away with it and the D rings are there and that's what we're using um, them for. We have everything secured and tied down with the ratchet straps, the, the couch, the bath, bathroom wall. Um, so nothing's gonna move, nothing's gonna shift in place. 
The other great thing about it is too is if you, you if you think that the straps are loosening, you can ratchet a little bit more and you can tighten it up a little more. I love the flexibility of that because if we want to actually take things out, if we want to take everything out of the van and we actually want to clean the entire floor of the van, that is not a problem. I mean, granted, it would take some time because you got to take things out of the cabinet, but that those things will come out easily. So if we decide in our next van that we want to pull everything out of this van, that would be very easy to do because there's nothing bolted into the floors. We just undo the ratchet straps and we transfer everything to the other van. I tell you, we certainly are getting more creative. We are making things a ton easier um, than we had in our previous van. And that was the goal on this new build. And so I thought we'd better do a video on what the actual ratchet straps and the tie down system looks like because we have talked about it, but we haven't shown any video or any photos on what that actually is and what that involves. So. Thanks again for joining us on another van build video. And you know what I'm gonna say, we have so many more videos to come and we will see you on the next video. Thanks for subscribing and we will see you tomorrow.